Okay, so we're going to have to do a few things to our boot before we can take it into Mudbox. Uh, if I apply a Turbo Smooth here, you can see that without the smoothing groups checked, uh, everything becomes one big mushy mess. Uh, so what we want to do is keep the hard edges. So with the uh, separate by smoothing groups, I can collapse that stack. This is the only time you should ever collapse the stack with the Turbo Smooth on. Uh, make sure that you're using a clone of your boot, not the boot that you intend to use for the game mesh. And then I'll make a, f a few tweaks to the actual mesh. So just bringing those in so we don't have the bubble around the heel. And I'll select the edges here. Now this is because I can't find a good way to create a hard edge in Mudbox. Um, so I'm just doing this, you know, a little bit old school and building in some uh, extra geometry to hold that hard edge. So just selecting all of these around the edge of the of the sole of the shoe, um, where a hard edge would be applied. Again, I reiterate, make sure you do this on a clone of your boot and do not ever collapse your Turbo Smooth onto your game mesh model. So just making a very, very small chamfer. When I'm happy with that, I'll hit OK. And I'll collapse these edges here just to keep everything quadded. So we only have quads or triangles. And again on the other side. So this is when we add subdivision levels in Mudbox. These edges together will hold hold the hard edge. So if I throw a turb, Turbo Smooth on now, you can see what I mean by this. So since we don't have our smoothing groups checked, you can see that this is what is mimicking what will happen in Mudbox. So with that done, we're now ready to take our boot into Mudbox. We can do that the same way we did our trousers. We click on the Mudbox icon, go to Send to Mudbox, but this time we want to add to current scene. So make sure you have Mudbox open with the file with your pants in it. I mean, you can make a separate scene if you'd like, but I find it's easier just to keep it all in the one spot. Now that that's done, we've got our, our Mudbox our boot in Mudbox, we can start to sculpt our, our boot. So for this boot I'm going to go very simple. I'm just doing kind of like a riding boot. So there's not going to be too any laces or anything that is overly complicated. I'm just going to keep the simple boot shape and just add a few seams and a few other visual details in there. So to start I'll add a sculpt layer. So again, just hitting new here, I'll name it seams or something similar. So seams is pretty good, so I'll just add, add that. And again, with our with the mask tool, like I did with the pants, I'm going to mask out the areas that I don't want to sculpt on. So just selecting the mask tool. I'm going to try using the marquee. No, that didn't quite work. Go back to my brush. Yep, that's working. Uh, we'll try the marquee again. So just selecting the marquee. There we go. That'll just make things a little bit quicker for us. So just masking out the top of the boot. Okay, so I'm going to be focusing on the heel at the moment. So just that, that piece of leather that has been sewn onto the back of the heel. It's just mimicking that there. Okay, I've still got my marquee selected, so I'll switch back to brush. And I'll mask in that shape around the heel.
Okay, so I'm happy with the shape now. Um, it's not as smooth as I'd like, but this is because we're working on a lower subdivision level. We can always sharpen it up later. So I'm also going to mask off the sole of our boot. So I'm going to try to do this with the marquee tool. So I don't want to affect the sole. I'm just working on the upper boot or the, the, the foot part of the boot at the moment. So just masking that all the way around and using, using the brush tool to fill in any of the gaps that I can't quite get with the with the marquee. So just checking to make sure that it's all masked off and I'll remove this bit here as well. So just trying to get it as close to the sole as possible. We don't want to get, get um, too much of the boot of the sole involved when we're, we're um, sculpting on this part. Just so we can keep that edge between the boot and the sole. With the mask complete, uh, I'll start to sculpt on the actual mesh. So I'm going to use, I'm going to try using the bulge tool just to bring this part of the boot out to give it a bit of thickness. So to make it look like it is being sewn on top of the shaft of the boot, the main part of the boot. So um, that's not quite working the way I want. So I'm just going to just use the the wax tool to to create the depth that I want. So just painting in, make undo that because it cut into the mesh. We didn't want that. I just want to bulk out or, or add depth to or thickness to this part of the boot. So I'm not going to pay too much attention to the boot itself. Um, 
it's not a it's not a, a major focal point in game. You don't see it all often, so I'm not going to put a lot of detail into this boot as well. It's also um, to fit with the style of the game. So looking at the concept, it's a pretty simple boot, straight up and down, not much to it. So I'm just adding a little bit of detail to break up the solid shape and colour of the boot and add a bit of visual in, um, interest. But again, I'm just not going to go overboard on this area of of the character. So just using the wax tool to bring out the depth or thickness in this part of the boot. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm going to go down onto the boot mesh uh, arms and I'm going to increase uh, the subdivision level. So just shift D to add a subdivision level. I'm going to smooth this out a little bit in order to get rid of the jaggy effects. Oops, undo that. And then using this, um, yeah, I'm just smoothing out Okay, that's because I've got grab on and I've hit control or something and it's trying to push instead of grab. So I'll move to my sculpt tool and I'll start to cut in and try and smooth out the the shape that we created in the in the, the masking layer. So just cutting in that that edge there and just trying to smooth out the shape
So just continuing to use the sculpt tool and a um, bit of the fall off, I'll um, cut in the sole and build up around the edge as well. So smoothing back when ne when necessary to keep the the shape all nice and and smooth. And then building it back up. Okay. So just keep looking around the boot to make sure it's starting to look the way I want it. So I'm going to flatten out here as well. It's starting to get a little bit bulgy in spots. So I'm just going to try and flatten out to harden up the edge a little bit as well to make it a little bit more defined. It's getting a little bit um, washed out on this part here. So I might have to come back in and define that a little bit more. Just continuing to flatten out some of the areas in order to keep the smooth shape since it's supposed to be leather and I'm thinking not a completely soft leather, leather not too hard obviously so that would be giving it But yeah, I'm liking how that's shaping up. So I'll go back in and start to cut in the shape again. And again, I'll use pinch to bring in the edges, just like we did with the seam on the pants. Okay, that's looking pretty good. It's about what I wanted. So I'm going to move on now and I'll create some side seams here. So it looks like that the back and the front were two separate objects to, that have been sewn together. So just using again the sculpt and the fall off tool, different size brushes. And using pinch to bring them together. And again on the inside of the foot here, just using the sculpt, and I'll cut in that 
that seam here as well so just shrinking the brush to make the depth a little bit more pronounced I'll continue to create this Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the overall shape here and how this is turning out. So I'm going to create a new sculpt layer and with my mask tool, I'll select the whole boot this time. And then I'll just mask out or um, using my steady stroke, I'll get rid of uh, where the back seam will be. So just holding control and undoing the, the mask. So just using my lazy mouse to help me create a reasonably straight line it doesn't have to be perfect so this will be kind of like a strip of leather sewn onto the back of the boot over the join so again just trying to get this as sharp as possible and filling in we don't want it to go over that the heel shape that we've already created earlier so just masking out that shape okay don't forget the top of the boot where it um, rolls into the to the leg Ooh. I'll just fill that back in. Okay. Okay, that's looking pretty much how I want it. So I'm going to use uh, the bulge tool here. again to create the depth of the leather so just bringing it out and then I can go back in and, and flatten it off and harden up the edge so using a rather big brush as you can see 
Yeah, didn't like that. So just undoing. So I constantly spin around the model too to make sure that it, it looks the way I want it. Sometimes turning it upside down gives us a different perspective. We can see something that we missed when it was the right way up. Okay, this is starting to push into the leg. Which isn't what I want. So we'll just build that back up. Okay, so I'm just going into the boot layer now and I'm just going to use Sculpt to define the edge a little bit more. Just smoothing it out a little bit. And then I'll use pinch to bring in the edges together. So just using my sculpt and pinch tool to create the hard, hard edge. Just going over now with a bit of flatten. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it's coming well, coming along together, coming all together. So yeah. Again, just. Putting that edge back in again with the sculpt. Just cutting in a bit of the divide above the heel there. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'll do now is I think I'll create a new subdivision layer and I'll go in with my uh, my wax tool after creating a new subdivision layer a new sculpt layer I should say and I'll create just a few little folds around where the heel bends just a few nothing too hard or too distinct. So just a few little spaces where the foot would bend or or bunch up. Okay, so I'm not going to bother adding a grip to the bottom of the shoe. Uh, you can if you'd like. So with the same method, you can try using the stencils or the, the stamp tools. But I think for now, I think this will be fine. Just smooth these out. Just having a look at it from a distance to see how it looks. So yeah, I think that's nice. There we go. We've got ourselves a simple riding boot. Done. Okay, we'll continue on with the next part of our character in the next video.